In the shadowed expanse of the Arctic, where ice yields to ambition and geopolitics hums beneath the aurora, Denmark has made a decisive move to fortify its vigilance. On July 22, 2025, the Danish Defense Acquisition and Logistics Organization, through the NATO Support and Procurement Agency, inked a contract with General Atomics Aeronautical Systems for four MQ-9B Sky Guardian unmanned aerial vehicles. This acquisition, encompassing three certified ground control stations, training, maintenance, and ancillary equipment, is no mere procurement, but a clarion call, a testament to Denmark's resolve to anchor its strategic presence in the high north. With deliveries slated for 2028 to 2029, partially funded by the Accelerations Fonden and bolstered by prior political agreements, these drones herald a new chapter in Denmark's defense posture, one that intertwines national sovereignty with NATO's collective shield. The MQ-9B Sky Guardian, with its 24-meter wingspan and near 12-meter fuselage, cuts a spectral figure against the Arctic's stark horizon. Unmanned, it lacks the cockpit of traditional aircraft, yet its presence is no less commanding. Capable of enduring over 40 hours aloft, it is engineered for the unrelenting demands of polar surveillance. Equipped with advanced intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance payloads, Lynx multi-mode radar, electro-optical infrared sensors, and General Atomics detect and avoid system. It is a sentinel designed for persistence. Its open architecture invites future enhancements from electronic warfare to maritime patrol kits like the Sea Guardian variant, while cold weather adaptations, including engine anti-icing and Inmarsat's LIR for long-range Arctic communications, ensure reliability in the region's unforgiving climes. Certified to NATO STANAG 4671 and international airworthiness standards, the MQ-9B navigates civilian airspace with a clarity rivaling crewed aircraft a feat honed through collaboration with the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration and the U.K. Civil Aviation Authority. Denmark's adoption of the Sky Guardian is not merely a technological leap, but a strategic alignment. As Colonel Klaus Kvist, FMI's Air Division Chief, has noted, integrating such a system is a labyrinthine endeavor. By procuring through the NSPA framework, Denmark sidesteps the quagmire of solitary integration, tapping into the shared wisdom of NATO allies like the United Kingdom, Belgium, and Canada, who have already embraced the platform. This interoperability is no small triumph. It weaves Denmark into a tapestry of standardized logistics, training, and sustainment, amplifying collective efficacy. The drone's Arctic-specific modifications, de-icing systems, cold region communications, echo lessons learned by other operators, ensuring Denmark's fleet is primed for the High North's challenges. Such collaboration underscores a broader NATO ambition to forge a unified front against the region's emerging threats. The Sky Guardian's role in Danish hands is multifaceted, a mirror to the Arctic's complexity. Beyond military surveillance, it will serve in environmental monitoring, search and rescue, and national intelligence gathering. Its endurance and range make it an ideal guardian for Greenland's vast airspace and the maritime zones encircling the Faroe Islands. These regions, vital to the Kingdom of Denmark's defense policy, are increasingly contested as climate change prees open new shipping lanes and resource opportunities. The drone's ability to operate in austere environments coupled with real-time data transmission, positions them as linchpins in Denmark's Arctic strategy. They will patrol the Giuk Gap, a strategic choke point where Russian submarines and aircraft thread between the Arctic and North Atlantic, offering early warning and bolstering NATO's maritime domain awareness. Yet, this acquisition is not without its shadows. Danish Defense Minister Trolls Lund Poulsen has framed the MQ-9B as a step toward European autonomy in surveillance capabilities, a nod to the continent's struggle to wean itself from external suppliers. The delays plaguing programs like the Eurodrone have pushed Denmark toward a proven system, but the choice is not without irony. 
The MQ-9B, a product of American engineering, underscores Europe's lingering reliance on transatlantic partners, even as it seeks self-sufficiency. Defense Chief Michael Wiggers Hildgard has emphasized the urgency of implementation, a reminder that readiness cannot wait for idealism. The drones, set to be fully operational by decade's end, are a pragmatic bridge to a future where Europe might stand alone. Training for Danish personnel to be conducted in the United States is a prelude to this future. Operators will master the Sky Guardian systems, from mission execution to maintenance, ensuring seamless integration into Denmark's air and maritime frameworks. This preparation, coupled with structured support packages, lays the groundwork for a capability that is both national and alliance-oriented. The drones will deliver real-time situational updates, fortifying Denmark's role in peacetime monitoring and crisis response. Their presence will extend beyond borders, feeding intelligence to NATO command structures and reinforcing the Alliance's northern flank. The Arctic, once a frozen afterthought, is now a theater of intensifying rivalry. Russian maritime and aerial activity, coupled with global interest in undersea infrastructure and emerging trade routes, has transformed the region into a geopolitical crucible. Denmark's responsibilities over Greenland and the Faroe Islands place it at the heart of this contest, tasked with securing sovereignty and contributing to NATO's deterrence posture. The MQ-9B, with its persistent ISR coverage, is a direct response to these pressures. It will detect low signature threats, monitor vast and sparsely populated zones, and ensure decision makers in Copenhagen and Brussels possess the clarity needed to navigate this shifting landscape. In acquiring the Sky Guardian, Denmark has not merely purchased technology, but staked a claim in the Arctic's future. The drones are more than machines. They are emissaries of resolve, weaving Denmark's national interests with the collective security of NATO. As the High North grows ever more contested, these silent sentinels will stand watch, their unblinking gaze a bulwark against uncertainty. By the close of the decade, when the MQ-9Bs take flight over Greenland's icy expanses, they will carry not just Denmark's ambitions, but the weight of a region on the cusp of transformation.